A fable. Fairy tale. Fables and fairy tales were originally created for adults. Many fairy tales are just watered down versions of fables, given a happy ending so they could be told to children. But the original stories were precautionary tales. I give you such a precautionary tale today. It is called Divine Diva D. There once was a woman named Divine Diva D. She was the reigning, the ultimate Queen B. Whether liked by her fellows or no, everyone came to her for the stories she told and the crises she made, no matter how inaccurate or wild. Her stories were taken as truth undenied. She basked in the glory of creating stories which brought others such an old, delicious, malicious glee, which harvested her gold and fame, and all for the small price of destroying an innocent man's name. She lapped and lavished without a thought of the damage to him and herself she would rot. She could not conceive a day when her name would not be emblazed, immortalized in fame. Arrogant in her belief, her lies would never be uncovered. Assured by others, her sins would never be discovered. Her intent was clear, to bear false witness and become revered among her peers. But alas, the unforeseen day came, bringing people who did expose her lies and bury her in shame. She would say to herself, How can this be? We buried the truth where none could see. Today, she ponders her fate, baffled over failed attempts to regain what she deemed great. Other cunning liars and the influential, they too were a part of this deed. So why is it I, so exposed and left to wither like a dying leaf on a fallen tree? An obscure fame and tarnished glory. Oh, how can this be? I, who sat at the top of the tree. I, who made them believe white was black and good deeds were obscene. I, through the use of guile, could convince them of almost anything. With head in hand, a lasting question would be, Who are these people? How was I supposed to know? When they turned their gaze on him, they would turn their gaze on me. At the beginning of Dee's quest for fortune and fame, why did she not consider harm to reputation and name? Had she known it would all come undone, then perhaps she might have been more careful about what she would become.